Good evening, I'm Gus Selig. I'm the director for the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board. And I wanna thank Evernorth and Rural Edge for asking me to join you this evening as you celebrate the opening of Olivia Place. A few years back, Paul Costello and the Vermont Council on Community Development invited me to join them when Lyndon decided to host a community visit to help plot out its future. That evening, I learned that Linden was one of the few towns across the Northeast Kingdom that was growing in population, probably because of your many excellent educational institutions. But that meant that you needed more housing and you needed better housing. So congratulations on the completion of this project, which accomplishes both those goals by adding six new homes to the community's inventory and replacing 14 really worn out, tired homes with much better housing. This was possible because Governor Phil Scott proposed a housing revenue bond that your Senator and Chair of the Appropriations Committee, Jane Kitchell, enthusiastically endorsed. Hats off also to Marty Feltis, your representative who was always advocating for Lyndon, as is your Senator Joe Sherman. A few words about Rural Edge. First, my great thanks for your recruitment of Patrick Shattuck back to Vermont. He worked at the board for a decade and we're so grateful to have his creativity and leadership back in service to Vermonters. Second, I wanna send a special word of thanks to Louise Bonvecchio, who just stepped down as Rural Edge's board chair, though she's staying on the board. She took the leadership at a critical time for the organization. We're so fortunate that people with her expertise want to give it to communities, community groups like Rural Edge, and that institutions like Community National Bank encourages its employees to give their time back to the community. Finally, as we honor Olivia, a few words about the founding of your organization. When I first get, got to the board, I got a call from Margaret Nicely and Bill McMaster, and both were at the Northeast Kingdom Community Action Agency, and they wanted to know how to get housing dollars for the kingdom. They found a dormant nonprofit in the form of the Gilman Housing Trust and breathed life into it. We provided some initial funding. They soon recruited Ed Stretch to lead the organization. And soon after that, he brought on Olivia. Her spirit was infectious, her work effective, whether she was in Groton, St. Johnsbury, Derby Line, or somewhere in between. She was always getting hard stuff done. It's so fitting that you're honoring her on what I'm told was her favorite holiday of Halloween, the pumpkin walk. We all miss her greatly. You do honor to your legacy and to Olivia by naming this project for her. Thanks, I look forward to the day that I can visit you in person and meet the families that will now call Olivia Place home. Well done, let's do another project like this together soon.